Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. It's technique day here in the studio. And today I'm gonna to be sharing a really fun, cool technique. And the stamp set I'm gonna use is the new Regal Flora stamp set. So it's all these fun, distinctive stamps, great sentiments, love this stamp. So I'm also gonna be using a new tool that I haven't yet shared on our Technique Tuesday, and that is our Simply Scored Board, or Simply Scored Board. So I love this, it's a great big board. It will hold a uh, 12 by 12 sheet with a little bit of extra room. It's actually 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. So you can easily score your you know, big designer series paper on here. Anytime you need a real deep impression, it comes with a great scoring tool as well. And it sits in the bottom here for when you need it. It's got these great markers so you can mark where you need to score. And then you just take the scoring ends. There's a small and a bigger end. And you're just going to put your paper here and then you're going to score it and you're gonna kind of stay in all these grooves, which is really fun and easy. So if you're making boxes or, you know, having a project that has lots of scoring on it, our Simply Scoreboard is so great for that. And today's technique project is going to fit beautifully with our Simply Scoreboard. So today we're gonna to be doing a faux tile technique. So faux tile technique. So I've got myself here a piece of basic white that I just already pre-cut to the size that we need. And what I'm going to do is I like to use the smaller end for this, but you absolutely could use the deeper end. Um, and so I am going to, let me just make sure that I'm still in camera here, but um, at every half inch for the size of my paper, every half inch, I am going to press and I like to go back and forth down that line to get a nice score line there. Some people will just go straight down, but what I have found is sometimes I jump the track when I do it that way. So I like to just kind of go back and forth. So then I'll go again another half inch. So now I'm at that one one inch mark and you can see it just right at the top here of of the scoreboard are all those measurements so I'm just following that down and I just going back and forth into that groove and then again at the next half inch I'm just holding it with my fingers here so it stays in line and I'm just gonna keep doing that same process all the way till I get to the end of my paper here. So just kind of that back and forth, just pressing in to the groove at each of those marks. Now you could do this really at any mark, but for today's technique, we're using that half inch mark all the way across. And one more here. Okay, so now we have these score lines. Hopefully you can see those on camera, those impressions basically. It's kind of like we're embossing it, but we're hand embossing it with our um, embossing tool here, right? Okay, so now we've got all those half inch marks. We're gonna turn our paper 90 degrees and we're gonna do it again. So we're getting that half inch, then one inch, then one and a half inch. So we're kind of creating a, a grid here, right? Then at two inches, then at two and a half inches, at three inches, and finish it off there at three and a half. Okay, so now we've got, hey Michelle, now we've got all of those score lines horizontally and vertically all across our paper here. So 
think you can see those on camera. I think it's really neat that you can do that with your hand, right? So you could do them at every inch. If you wanted bigger um, grid squares, you could just use this. Let me grab another sheet real quick and just show you. If you wanted to take your paper and do that again on just the borders. You could have, you know, just a scored line down and that might make an addition, you know, in texture to one of your cards. But today we're doing a faux tile technique. So let me move our scoreboard out of the way. We'll bring back in that paper that we just scored. And remember I said we're gonna use our Regal Flora stamp set today. So I'm gonna use this bunch of flowers here and I'm gonna bring in some Melon Mambo ink. I love Melon Mambo. So we're gonna bring that in. We're gonna ink up our stamp here. Love this beautiful stamp. There we go. And so we are just going to press that down kind of two or three times on our paper here. Let's do once more. You can turn your flowers a bit. There we go. And so you will see that we created this faux tile. So it almost looks like our flowers are stamped. I'm trying to get this close so you can see it. But so they are stamped on tiles. So it's this faux tile technique. Now, let me share with you a finished card using this technique. So we've got our same Melon Mambo. That is the sending love your way sentiment from that Regal Flora stamp set. But look how beautiful, I added also these dots from that stamp set, but look how beautiful those flowers look. And it does create this look of tile in our card, right? What a beautiful technique. So happy Technique Tuesday. If you missed any of our past Technique Tuesdays, you can um, go to my blog at stampinqueenbee.com and they are all listed there for you as well as on YouTube at Stampin Queen Bee. Thanks so much for joining us today and learning some new techniques with us. I will see you guys soon.